Welcome to Learn Yourself. Exercise 7.1, question number 1. Complete the following statements. A. Two line segments are congruent if now if there are two line segments for example A, B and C, D. Two line segments are there. They will be congruent if their lengths are same. If the both line segments are of the same length then they will said to be a congruent. B. Among two congruent angles, one has measure of 70 degree. The measure of other angle is. Now, for example, one of the angle is angle A and other angle is angle B. If angle A and angle B both are congruent with each other, then their measure should be same. So, if angle A is 70 degree, then angle B also should be 70 degree. Then only they are said to be congruent with each other. Congruency means they are having, if it is a line segment, then they are having same length. If the angles are congruent, that means their measures are equal. And if the triangles are congruent, that means their sides measures are equal and their angles measures are also equal. So here we are talking about angles. So their measure will be same. So other angle is also will be of 70 degree. When we write angle A equals to angle B, we actually mean the measure of angle A and measure of angle B will be equal. So we can write measure of angle A will be equal to measure of angle B. When we are writing this both angles are equal, that means their measures are equal. Exercise 7.1 question number 2. Give any two real life examples for congruent shapes. So first is two A4 sheets of white paper of a same company. Then second is two 15 centimeter scale. Then third is two 40 inches television screen of a same company. So size and measure will be same for all these three examples. Exercise 7.1 question number 3. If triangle ABC is congruent with triangle FED under the correspondence of ABC FED write all corresponding congruent parts of triangle. Now first of all what is congruency and if two triangles are congruent what will happen. If two triangles are congruent then their corresponding parts their sides their angles that match another are equal that match with another triangle and that will be equal. Now the meaning of that is if we are writing here that triangle ABC is congruent with triangle FED and this congruency we are writing like ABC and FED that means angle A is equal to angle F. Angle B is equal to angle E. Angle C is equal to angle D. And similarly, we can also say this for the sides, but the corresponding sides. Now, what is the meaning of corresponding side? That we will learn it here. So first, let us name it as per the given name. So we are starting here. First vertices A, B and C. Now going to second triangle. We are writing here as per the given name F, then E and D. See what is congruency. Here ABC is congruent with FED and their corresponding parts are equal. That means angle A is equal to angle F. Angle B is equal to angle E. And angle C is equal to angle D. Now, these are all about angles. So their angles and sides will be equal. So here we have we can write what all angles are equal. That angle A will be equal to angle F. The first one. First angle is equal. Then second angle B will be equal to angle E. Then third angle C will be equal to angle D. Now we are talking about the sides because when two triangles are congruent with each other, their sides will be equal. 
So, but the corresponding side. So, corresponding side means if I am talking about this side, that is AB, then similarly for FED triangle, I am talking about this side. Then AB side will be equal to FE side. So, this is the meaning of corresponding sides. Now, let us talk about second side. So, BC side is equal to ED side. So, BC side will be equal to ED side. Now, we are talking about third side. So, AC side is equal to FD side. So, AC side will be equal to FD side. As per the question, we have to write that, write all corresponding congruent parts of the triangle. So, in mathematical language, how we are going to write this? That we are going to write their congruency here. So, this equals to sign we are replacing with their congruency sign. So, this is a sign of congruency that one triangle is congruent with another triangle. So, all corresponding parts are equal. So, similarly, we will write our answer. So, angles which are congruent with each other. So, angle A is congruent with angle F. Angle B is in congruency with angle E. And last, angle C is congruent with angle D. Now, we are talking about sides. So, sides which are congruent. So, sides AB side is congruent with FE side. The next BC side is in congruency with ED side. And the last one, AC side is in congruence with FD side. So, here their measures are same, their line segments length are same. But in mathematical language, when we are writing congruency, we are replacing equals to sign with this congruency sign. So, this is the way we are writing answer. 7.1 question number 4. If triangle DEF is congruent with triangle BCA, write the parts of triangle BCA that correspond to angle E, EF, angle F and DF. So, let us first draw a two triangle and we will give name accordingly. So, first let us take this triangle and however they have written here, we are giving the names. So, how they have given here the names, according to that we are giving the names to the triangle. So, first is D, then E, F. Earlier also we have discussed this that you can, I have written all the names according to anti-clockwise. You can also write the names as per the clockwise direction but follow the same direction for both the triangles. If clockwise then it should be clockwise for both the triangle. If anti-clockwise then it should be anti-clockwise for both the triangle. Otherwise, the congruency will not match. So, here I am following anti-clockwise direction. I am going like this. So, in this triangle also, I will follow the anti-clockwise direction. So, first is B, then C, and then A. So, that is how I have named my triangle as per the question. All are the congruent parts that I have to write. So, let us take the first one. First is angle E. So, here angle E is there. So, corresponding another angle will be angle C. So, angle E is in congruence with angle C. Now, second, EF. EF is this side. So, the corresponding side will be CA. So, EF is in correspondence with CA. Then third, angle F. So, angle F is here. And the corresponding angle is angle A. So, angle F with angle A. And the fourth one, DF. So, DF line segment is in corresponding with line segment BA. This both are line segments. So, we will write sign of line segment on top of that. So, thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, Please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.